worldwide, worldwide, worldwide. What's up, guys? This is the Organic Guy, and welcome to Organic View, which is um, your weekly segment that keeps you up to date on what's happening in the organic sector. It's a segment that um, helps us look at the stories and headlines from um, an organic perspective, really. And uh, on this week, we get to go through perhaps one of the best and uh, biggest headlines, in my opinion, in 2020. And um, that's on the fact that the global iconic clothing brand Super Dry went into a partnership with um, a football icon in his own rights, Neymar Jr., who is uh, the Brazilian and the Paris Saint-Germain forward, which was uh, great news that didn't get a lot of coverage in the news and I wonder why, man. I mean, <laughs> but uh, we can sort of give it a break because 20. 20 was um, hectic here, a lot of things to deal with, but it was very, very important that we bring this particular um, headline into the mainstream, and it was a great, great win, especially for the organic sector, and if we had to narrow down, really, for um, the organic fashion industry, which hasn't been getting a lot of limelight um, as much as it should, um, especially if you're trying to compare it with um, the organic food industry which are gets a lot of attention but the organic um, clothing industry doesn't get a lot of attention as it should and i must admit i'm one of those guys who doesn't do so as well so um this week's headline comes from uh, the industry.fashion and it reads super dry signs name a junior to font organic cotton underwear collection and the story is by tom bottomley was written um, on the 17th of December 2020. So the story itself reads, uh, Brazil and Paris Saint-Germain football star Neymar signed a three-year global deal with Super Dry to front its new 100% organic underwear and sleepwear collection, championing the brand's sustainable vision for the future of fashion. Neymar Jr. has a massive global social media audience with over 143 million followers on instagram alone so the attraction for super dry signing such a global superstar is of course very very clear super dry has pledged to become a hundred percent organic cotton brand by 2030 and is currently supporting 400 farmers in india and its transition to organic farming is part of the brand's grow future thinking initiative in relationship with Neymar, most commonly, of course, referred as a Neymar, but most people don't actually know it's Neymar Jr., will uh, see super dry commitment supporting a cause close to the footballer's heart, the Instituto Progetto Neymar Jr., based on Jadim Gloria neighborhood in Praia Grande, where Neymar grew up. Currently, the nonprofit association asks over 2,000 children registered and works to expand opportunities for children, adolescents, and their family who live in a situation of social vulnerability through education, culture, sport, and health. The agreement with Neymar Jr. is a further step in the revival of Super Dry under the brand's co-founder, Julian Dankaton, who was confirmed the president CEO of the business only yesterday following his return last year. Dankaton said, Neymar is passion for creating positive change through Instituto Progetto, Neymar Jr. aligns with our goals to produce the most sustainable product while protecting our planet and supporting our people in all that we do. Superdry will do the right thing to drive progressive change in our global communities, leaving a positive environmental legacy for the future generation through one of the many exciting initiatives we have planned. Superdry also pledged an annual donation to support um, Neymar's cause in helping to change the lives of young people in Brazil channeled through sustainable style and helping to protect our planet and our people. On signing, Neymar commented, when uh, we talk about clothes, whatever their type, the first thing we want is comfort. It's no different with underwear and slipper. When you add sustainability to both, super dry is unquestionably the best one ever found. Very happy with the development and potential of this partnership. Um, Super Dry creative director Phil Dixon added, Neymar Jr. has a unique style on and off the pitch. We love his approach to life and his creativity fits perfectly with our brand value of embodying the spirit of 
adventure we already making an amazing underwear and our aim is to make it even better they are a super comfortable organic cotton fabric using recyclable recycled poly waistbands which makes them a hundred percent sustainable and responsibly sourced so ladies and gentlemen what a story this is perhaps one of the biggest brands coming together and i'm saying brands because Neymar himself is a person is a brand on his own rights right he brings a lot of to the table i don't have to say that but probably you do know that it does bring a lot to the table to super dry's brand as well and if we were to compare it between these two brands who got the upper hand I will have to go with um, Superdry really got a helper hand in this particular partnership. They did get a lot um, of leverage um, in this particular partnership. And I say this uh, because when I look at uh, the numbers in terms of um, the footballers following, in, uh, on especially on social media, is massive. And it, he only comes second to... Perhaps the goat himself, the greatest of all time, the, the footballer's greatest of all time, that's Cristiano Ronaldo, who, you know, by his own rights, brand by himself, he has his own clothing brand. And uh, I'm just taking the step of um, super dry, really, when they're sitting in that particular boardroom and trying to look for people who they can partner with. And on top of that list could be Cristiano Ronaldo. But when you look at what he has and some of the initiatives that he has by himself, it's really hard to have him to front your particular brand, right? But if you look at the other person who could be in that list of a partnership, Neymar comes in close second, really. Um, although in terms of footballing terms, you could argue that list could um, be Cristiano Ronaldo, Lionel Messi, and the Neymar. But in terms of brand, looking for a person who can present your brand out there into the masses, Neymar is definitely um, comes in a second that particular list. And the numbers tell us so. When you look at the overall number of followers um, that footballers in general have, Cristiano Ronaldo, of course, tops that particular list. He has, he boasts. 418 million total followers across social media um, when you look at uh, facebook for example he has 122 million facebook likes that is 20 million ahead of anyone else right and uh, when you look at Neymar's numbers they are actually pretty impressive as well he has a boast over 243 million followers um across social media and on instagram alone he has uh, over 137 million Instagram followers. That is more than Katy Perry and, and um, Taylor Swift. So, in terms of, you know, sitting there as a board on uh, that particular boardroom and learning to look for people who you can uh, be able to partner with and uh, put your brand out there, Neymar definitely, definitely comes into that particular list. And especially if you're trying to have a global scale if you look football itself really it's a global sport right so if you look at north america football may not be at the top of that list but it's very well spread out south america there's no better sport to talk about africa there's no better sport to talk about than football um europe the same thing asia might not be at the top but it's definitely somewhere into the top of the list so in terms of trying to gauge and reach um, a wider audience football is one of those an avenue that you could easily use and being able to capture the second most um, followed person on social media is a massive massive catch in my opinion but why why is super dry actually even interested in organic cotton in the first place and for us to better understand this we have to look what are the advantages of organic cotton right uh, compared to convention obviously these guys have looked at some of the research that is out there and they have come to a great conclusion that yes it is actually worth to switch into organic and they've probably seen um, some some of the feedback they're getting from customers as well but when you look at the strategic point of view and what are some of the things that 
this particular brand will be able to get from organic and its investment into it, the first thing that comes to mind, of course, is reducing the environmental footprint. And I found this particular um, in parts, um, uh, points very well laid out by uh, about organic cotton.org very very well put together first thing that this particular brand is looking at is to reduce its environmental footprint and it's no secret that growing your products using organic um, methods means that you are completely avoiding the use of toxic chemicals for example and one of the things that have been on top of mind especially for the recent years is about the care of the soil growing your cotton um, using organic method means that it doesn't damage the soil. It has less impact on air and uh, uses 88% less water and 62% less energy compared to their conventional counterparts. That is massive numbers throughout there and it's actually worth um, switch into organic as well. On the other hand, conventional cotton uses about 16% of the world's insecticides. Huge numbers considering that's just one crop, ladies and gentlemen, 16% of the total gallons of millions that are being poured into our soils goes into cotton alone that makes um, a cause for concern in my opinion seven percent of the pesticides used in agriculture used uh, on cotton alone so if you look at those numbers the option of going to organic really should be straightforward right and the second thing that this particular brand is also looking at is the impact that it has on our food system as well. Organic um, cotton is not only used for fiber, ladies and gentlemen. Despite um, some of the things that a lot of uh, a lot of people flaunt out there, you know what? There is there is no need to worry about GM cotton. Why? Because it's just we just grow it for fiber, but that's not the case. Organic uh, cotton is used in other areas. Organic seed cotton, for example. Um, is used on uh, your products okay cotton seed oil is used in the variety of products such as cookies chips and vegetable oils also um, it's also fed to livestock when the oil has been removed guess what the cotton cakes are fed to livestock so in one way or another these particular products end up on your plate on your plate so well cotton fiber is not something we put into our bodies the pie products definitely make into our diets in one way or another the thing the other thing is about promoting um, the safety of the work and uh, better life food for for the people who are actually working on these farms um, growing cotton keeps farmers and their families safe they are not exposed to toxic chemicals that are you know poured in the field in the first place and also keeps their food and water supply clean it also means that farmers can grow more than one crop which supplements their food and income. So if you're growing large fields of GM cotton, guess what? You're not being able to grow any other crop. That means that your resources are really, really going to waste in the first place, right? That means that the amount of nitrogen that you pour into the soil, if it's not taken up by um, cotton, means it's going to be waste. It means going to be flooded up into the air. But on the other hand, you can grow one or two... Uh, types of other crops that means that the nitrogen that is not taken up by the cotton can also be used by other plants as well so making the system very very efficient so if you're looking at all things from a holistic point of view and trying to connect dots how can we work together and just not be wasteful organic wins hands down but um the other thing that is really really impressive about um, super dry themselves as corporate is their dedication and uh, they've laid out this particular point very well on uh, their website and that's their dedication of trying to um, be a hundred percent organic cotton by 2030 i must say by the face of it by itself it's a a daunting okay it's a daunting task but obviously it seems like they have looked at some of the facts and they've looked some of the research and they've seen that this is actually possible and um they say that by 2030 they want to go a hundred percent um super dry cotton um in 2020 they say they reach 19 percent of all their conventional especially in underwear socks orange rubber t-shirts polos uh, sleepwears uh, also also went to organic and um 
They say they're very, very proud that having converted almost a fifth of their cotton volume to date, they are entering the next phase of rollout and plan to continue in this approach on achieving against their annual targets of 2030. So definitely looks like they are in the right direction and some of the things and some of the plans that they have put in place so far they have been able to smash those targets so for me it's um, all the best and i think they have found uh, my new customer in the process i have not been putting a lot of time into organic cotton and organic fiber and into what i wear i've been mostly looking at um, organic food products on what i put into my body and it looks like from uh, this particular conversation my insights are also going to be very much looking into what i wear also uh, as a fashion and what i wear is um, actually from an organic source which makes a lot of sense moving forward um and they go hard to say that all suppliers producing organic cotton products are certified to either the global organic textile standard or the organic content standard this verifies of course the presence of organic cotton and as of december 2020 25 percent of our total base uh, got certified with an additional eight percent ocs certified they say that they are committed to switching a minimum of one complete category to organic cotton per year between 2020 and 2030 in order to ensure that they reach their targets so very very straightforward very powerful commitment as well of uh, trying to be a hundred percent organic by 2030 i think that is a noble cause and uh, we have to be able to applaud when corporates and companies make such a kind of moves not easy to do that but obviously they've looked at the figures they've looked at the research and they have come to the conclusion that the best path to do this is to actually go organic but you as a consumer of course one thing that you want to see despite that this partnership you want to see that the products they're actually coming out they're actually good products right they actually look good on you in the first place you don't want to buy something crappy that doesn't look good just because it's organic right and the second thing you want to do is what is the price range okay um will i be able to pay 100 percent more on a product that i can get way way lesser uh, on the other end so from a fashion point of view those are the two main things you'll be looking at right is the product i'm buying actually going to look good on me and is it going to cost me a lot more money to have the same product or i can get it um somewhere else so for example this is on a personal website and as you can see they have got a very very good collection of, of products so i'm in the men's section right now and um, as you can see that t-shirt um is about 25 euros per t-shirt and if you compare with other products it's a very very good price range all right and um how about the long sleeve for example and if you look at the organic cotton standard label hoodie because about 90 euros very much comparable to the conventional uh, hoodies as well how about the joggers joggers also go for 90 euros okay label hoodies go for 90 euros as well how about the long sleeve top goes for about 40 euros very very comparable price and they actually look good okay it's not like this kind of styling someone has to put a gun in, on your head in order to wear them this is a product that if i wake up in the morning i will be very very comfortable to wear because they actually look good okay how about their designs for example the organic cotton engineer top goes for about 40 euros right um how about the henley top which is probably one of my fav favorite designs which i can wear them all day just i just need to have different colors and then every single day that i wake up I can just wear them and go forward goes for about 50 euros very very comparable price range if you um if you ask me but it's one way to say that but how do they actually compare with other products you look at the polo t-shirts for example organic uh, polo t-shirt go goes for 50 euros very very comparable price as well right and 
as you all can see, they look absolutely amazing. They look, this is something that I can be able to comfortably buy and use it um, and um, use it myself. So it's not just about supporting organic, but you want to be able to wear something that is organic and something that you can afford. So I was talking about how does it compare with other products. So this is just a general, if you just walk into their store, this is what you'll find, okay? So for example, you have this particular um, t-shirt, the Organic Contage Vintage Logo Primary T-shirt, which goes for 35 years. You have the same t-shirt, the Everest T-shirt, which is for conventional. It also goes for 35 years. Same price range. One is organic, one is conventional. Which one are you going to go for? Look at the design as well. Very much going for organic all day. As a result of the design itself and as a result of my bias for organic, for example. How about we compare this particular two t-shirts, okay? Organic, organic vintage embroiled t-shirt, which is, of course, organic, goes for 25 years. The other t-shirt, uh, vintage logo embroiled t-shirt, Man, in terms of design, I like um I like to go for minimal kind of designs, and in this case, just because of the design itself and the pricing, I am gonna go for organic as well. So, as you can see, this is not you know just about making you feel about doing good for the environment, um, which is a noble cause, of course, for example, but it's actually something that looks good on you and it's something that you can afford. To buy which is what most consumers will be looking for and this particular partnership between neymar and super dry brings those two things together okay brings that awareness that yes the design themselves are actually good but as well it's something that you can be able to afford i think name also mentioned this particular statement um in um, in his interview he said you just don't want something that you want something that is comfortable, but if you had sustainability into it, it makes things a little bit even better. So it's not just a matter of having something organic, something that actually looks good in the first place and it's actually affordable. Same goes to the food. You don't want to eat something crap, okay, just because it's organic. You want to eat something that te actually tastes good and it's organic, right? So these two things have been combined in this particular conversation super dry is not the only brand that is doing this gap for example has committed um to organic as well so they actually have an organic collection for kids as you can see here they have an organic collection for kids okay so if you want to support you know if you want to uh, buy organic products for your kids for example you can easily find them with the gap themselves and you can see the price range is actually also very very appealing it goes for 17 euros for example 14 euros um 18 euros for um a baby product um very very affordable you can as well argue um adidas also has an organic collection so big big brands are seeing something that most people are not seeing yet that is not possible. They do know something. They have been shown something in their boardrooms and they said, you know what, this is something that worth um, looking into. For example, their joggers goes for 60 euros. Super dry, we saw on the other side, can went up to 90 euros. You see there a little bit of competition putting into Spotlight, which, I, which one are you more comfortable going for? Super dry for 90. Um, Adidas for 60 very very much up to you to try and consider which looks good on you as well how about the hoodie hoodie goes for 70 years very very affordable comparable to other products as well t-shirt for 23 years okay very comparable with super dry which went for 24 years sometimes to 34 years so it depends on what kind um what kind of design do you like and what is the price range for example well, guess what? Nike has also huge um, interest in organic as well. And from their website, they actually say that they have been involved in the organic sector since 1998. They have been involved in sourcing organic cotton uh, products way since way back in 1998. And 
in 2002, Nike became a founding member of Organic Exchange. Okay, so you can see these guys do see something in organic, and it's not just the small brands, it's the big brands also embracing this particular convention, this particular convergence uh, for organic as well. We cannot finish uh, to talk about this particular topic without mentioning of Patagonia, right? They have been the leaders, they've been the true through leaders of um, organic fashion from way, way, way years. And if you look at their history, they have been sort of involved in organic fashion since 1996, okay? Patagonia first started using exclusively 100% organic cotton in 1996. Later, uh, they also began using recycled cotton, um, cotton in conversion, and now they're sort of piloting the regenerative organic certified pilot cotton so very very much patagonia when you're talking about organic cotton you have to put them on the list they have been doing an amazing amazing project either through supporting projects that are for regenerative and organic farming as well or through their short films for example they have done in support for organic cotton through the years and trying to create awareness so you can see here super dry sort of saw the trend that has been going and they had to jump it they had to jump in in one way or another and they did so with a bang of signing uh neymar jr into their brand as well so that is going to of course create a lot of buzz as well and make people look into the product which will be a win-win for both uh, for both parties and especially for the organic sector will be a huge win as well because now most people will be looking at organic fashion what are the advantages of actually using organic cotton compared to uh, conventional cotton and massive massive kudos to super dry for their commitment of trying to be a hundred percent organic by 2030 and definitely without no doubt they did add at least me as one of their customers who have never bought the product before but would definitely be on the lines of buying their product as well so ladies and gentlemen there are a lot of things to talk about but in this particular conversation i hope you can see how the organic sector is really really gaining momentum and it's gaining momentum very very fast and the last thing i want you to do is not to be on the hold as well so till the next one ladies and gentlemen remember to be organic cheers